Hello. I'm going to show you how to set up the Tenable Core plus Tenable Nessus. Now, this is the OVA that you can throw in your ESXi or vCenter environment. Uh, I have a link to the download below. Uh, this is an open download. You can download it, just, you know, upload it to your ESXi or vCenter environment. It is pre-configured to the hardware requirements that are needed to support the Nessus scanner. So once you have it set up and you and you turn it on, it'll go through like a CentOS 7 boot up, and you'll see it here at the web management interface um, uh, IP address. Now, by default, we will attempt to grab a IP address from DHCP. If not, you'll see a loopback or 127 address. You'll need to go in and change it to a static IP. So we'll do that right now. So wizard is the default username and the default password is admin. You'll actually be prompted to set a static IP, and yes, we want to do that, and hit edit. So you'll actually go down, and we'll change it to manual, and then show it. Now this is important. Uh, make sure you do type the IP that you have available, and then denote it with the CIDR. So whether that's a 24, 8, whatever, this is something from your network admins. Uh, the gateway. and DNS. This is used for the Nessus scanner to resolve IPs to names, and that way you'll have the name show up in your scan results. If the DNS isn't able to resolve it, you'll just get a, a normal IP with a the vulnerability information with that. And then we'll add the search domain. If you have multiple search domains, you'll need to put those in there. And we'll go ahead and hit OK and quit. Now, this is a personal preference, but I prefer to set my username and password up in the UI. Reason being is if you have a password manager, it helps immensely to save and save that username and password because the password has to be 14 characters long, upper, lowercase, and special characters. So I'm going to hit no, and then I'm going to make sure the IP address changed by just typing IP space ADDR, and I can see that it did, it, it did change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my browser, and we're going to go ahead and type that IP address in. And then this is where we'll go ahead and put in the wizard and admin password. I'll check that, hit log in and then it's going to prompt us to change the username and password. Now, once you have it set up, you'll be kicked back out, and then we'll go ahead and put that password back, username and password back in, make sure that box is checked, and now we're in. This gives you a link to the Nessus scanner to set it up. So basically what happens is, we're gonna open this up. Now, uh, basically I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to set the Nessus scanner up. So if you are setting this up for Tenable IO, you just need to make sure your linking key is in here. If you are linking it to Tenable SC, you'll just need to go ahead and click continue and create the username and password that is used to link Tenable SC or Tenable Nessus to Tenable SC. Now in here, you'll want to, there's a couple different things I'll talk about real quick is the system. Uh, you can go ahead and change the host name. Once you change the host name, so you can put it in your DNS server, you'll need to reboot the appliance. So just hit restart and then hit no delay. That'll cause the Tenable, S, uh, Tenable Core to restart and those changes take into effect. Now, if this, Appliance is able to uh, basically reach out to the internet. I'll link all the URLs in the description below. Tenable, the Tenable Core reach out to Tenable's uh, YUM repository to pull all the updates for the OS and for the application. So Nessus, Tenable SC, uh, Nessus Network Monitor, anything that, can, that Tenable uses on its core appliance can be updated by Tenable. So you just have to hit check for updates if there's anything there. If there's nothing there, good. It auto updates in the background during the first initial setup. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a like and, or sorry, leave a comment down below. 
If you found this useful video useful, please let me know if I can continue doing these. Thank you very much.